Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys is doing absolutely great today. I want to share with you how to make this church flyer design. Before jumping into this, let's check the intro. Take up graphics skills with creativity please consider subscribing to our youtube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos so without wasting much of our time guys let's dive into today's tutorial yeah what's up guys welcome back to the cool graphic design training hope you guys is doing absolutely great today i want to share with you how you can make a church flyer on your android smartphone using your pc lab believe me today is another awesome uh, flyer which you can rely on and lean on without wasting much of our time let's dive into this tutorial the first thing that we need to do so the first thing to do is to determine our background size and as you can see this is the background size i want to use 1024 by 1024 after that i have all the template and all the uh, instrument i want to use on my gallery so i need to be importing them one after the other so i have to determine the background color and uh, i have it already so i need to just bring this particular pattern as a background you can actually download this uh at the png website you can get it there just put uh, or you can go to your pin interest and type uh flyer background premium flyer background or hd flyer background then you see a, a amazing type of it which you can actually download so i got this from there then after that the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to select one particular line that will serve as a demarcation here which i've already studied very well before bringing this up then as you are importing make sure that uh, you are uh, you are locking them so that your hand will not be affecting so now i'm positioning this here I just want it to form this particular circle that is the essence of bringing it in so now right now the next thing i'm going to do after position this i want to unlock it so that i can be able to stretch it a little so after that i can reposition and it has performed this specific function i want it to perform so after selecting this then the next thing i'm going to do i want to import all the elements one after the other so that i will be able to move on with other writer so i'm positioned this here then i'm going back to my gallery and bring other resources so like for instance i want to let me build this over so which you can see this so after bringing this in you can go back and bring other image that require so i'm bringing this in as well use your relative position to position work so at this juncture you switch it and make this one to go back so we can lock the two after bringing it in so now we move further by bringing other elements you need to look into this very well and we bring it in and position it so this social media icon has to be positioned very well so now we are going to lock it as well so that our hand will not be touching it and it won't be moving around you go back to check your gallery and look at uh, the next thing that you need to import it. so we are going to import this as you can see then use your relative position again to position it well so now the next thing we need to do we need to go back to our gallery to check other content that are very necessary to be important then if there is none then we go back and finishing the design so right now after that the next thing we are going to do is to type so we have what we call a word so we have what so on doing that we go to our gallery and pick a font type so i want to choose antan the font and antan regular so i will increase the size exactly like this just increasing the size make sure you position it here 
then increase this more go to space area and close it so which you can say close it then use your relative position to position to the center you can increase the size a bit reposition then we are going to move it up very well move it up then the next thing is to reposition which is very good so now reduce the size a bit centralize it again very okay now move it to one side a bit a bit then let it go up so it's actually okay like this the next thing we're going to do is to just make a this thing to be underneath that is what we're doing we'll make sure it's underneath so and we have achieved that so now copy and edit explosion so we are going to have a explosion which we have this explosion explosion as you can see then uh, let's edit it explosion so we are going to reduce the size very well reduce the size so after reducing the size then it has to start from here and we still need to increase the size as well so increasing the size to some minimal level and let it be around here so as it is there is one thing that we need to look into at this particular area because we need to customize something here and in customizing it we need to look into it so like take it for instance uh, we have to deal with this in another way so we have what we call x then let there be space 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 again then let's check let's check so the space is too much let's close it a bit close close it a bit then reduce the size for us to be able to see clearly so on reducing the size so we are going to see space it sorry space then on spacing it so the next thing we are going to do we need to just do a kind of adjustment at this level so you make sure that uh, this thing is very closer to this area so after making it closer then we are going to uh, type so we copy where we type x we type x then we are going to choose the lixparta font lixparta font as you can see so after choosing lixparta font it has to be around here we must find a means of accommodating it inside here so and it will, it will take another font so we are going to give it a yellow font so on giving it a yellow font we look at it critically then we are going back to our gallery and import this particular text which i've already assigned here and that is the only one that will work along with this which you can see it will work along with this one so we can see what i did here so the next thing i'm going to do to make this one work after position this one here very well which you can see is already here so what i'm going to do next is to just lock this the now will give me an avenue to increase this one a little bit after increasing it then i will reposition it very well so that the mouth it will just be in line that is my main objective so after making it be in line click on this and zoom out for you to check properly now that everything is in line i don't have any other issue then what i'm going to do next is to continue with other design then i will now copy i mean go to the shape and crop out this 
then I will position manage to position it under this place then reduce the size make sure that uh, everything really accurate exactly like this after position that then uh, the next thing I'm going to do is to increase this a little bit go to the color area and uh, you apply this yellow color click OK then you go to let's just copy the letter X which the font is a leaks pattern so we have the date which is 25th as you can see 25th of what 25th of 25th of May which you can see then we will now reduce the size very well go to the color area and apply color then we are going to position it here so we use a space area to space it very well we'll go to the size increase the size very good use the position arrow to arrange it very well very good as you can see so the next thing that remains now is to copy this which you can see we are going to copy so on copy this we are going to edit editing it where we have a maraba stadium which you can see maraba stadium you can see it then we click ok we'll go to in the text we reduce it to a bare minimal level as you can see we'll go to the color area we give a color then we are going to reduce and position it here very good as you can see so we can reduce the size if we want to this particular area now the next thing we are going to do sorry is to edit this and we have uh next turn next turn to jj jj avenue next turn to jj avenue so we have this bean slope we reduce the size go to the color and apply a black color and we are going to position this under this and uh, we space it a bit after spacing it we reduce the size then uh, we increase the size again then we make sure everything is actually plumb but it has to be centralized if we can do that we can just go back here and space after spacing reducing the size which you can see we reduce the size and make sure everything is actually aligned so when you are able to align it then the church logo should be able to be to align properly too so we are going to do that now so you move it and everything is plumb as you can see so now what actually remain is to give a color where the color deserve so for instance sorry for instance this should be cancer so we go to change this which you can see then which area we can we change again nothing then what we're going to do is to apply a shadow so we go to the shadow area reproduce the opaque city the blur radius should be reduced to five and turn on your outer glow your offset white should carry mark to be six then reduce this a little bit so that the shadow will be able to show so after showing the shadow then we go to um overall work here so we are going to apply one after the other why we go to the shadow apply this reduce the opacity reduce the blur radius after glow by replacing the same thing sex click on plus and you reduce the color the color composition i mean the strength of the color reduce it back then as you can feel it you see it's actually uh, the way we want it to be so and as it is everything is actually plumb. so now the next thing i want us to do 
is this uh this particular uh uh this one we need to just uh bring it down a little bit which you can see let it come down come down a bit as you can see then we go to where we have our x area we'll make sure that uh, we bring it down to we'll bring it down then where we have this particular shape we'll make sure that uh, we'll make it work too bringing it down and make it work so now that we can zoom and see clearly so this is not actually right this is not right this is not right so let's just leave it this way uh, we have something the way we want to do it before so now everything is actually cool but what we need to do right now is to just move everything at once so we tap on this and we click on x and this spot we click on exposition the word as well we click on it then we click on this and move it down to the bottom a little bit as you can see i'm moving the whole thing at the same time so after moving it that way then the next thing we are going to do is to click on mask so it remains two things so what we are going to do next is this particular area we need to send it to the back which you can see after sending it to the back we are going to move it a bit so moving it a bit we'll go to the date area we are going to move it back a bit too which you can see then uh, we do the same thing so this uh, particular one needs to be at the top which is already doing that let's check so the 25th and everything is actually plumb so now the next thing we are going to do is to the under the explosion we are going to check our shadow whether it work explosion i think i have it before and it's actually working now so it's working so you can see it actually work so you make it work and then as we apply that then the next thing we are going to do we look at it critically we are going to measure these two together so on merging it together we are going to apply the shadow as well that x so we go to the shadow apply a shadow reduce the blood radius and your x set y increase it and you adjust at this particular area so when you do that then you can be able to fill the result and see how it look so as it is now sorry as it is you can actually feel it and see how it look and this is just a simple way on how you can make a church fly on your android smartphone using your pcl very very simple and very straightforward and as you can see the image you don't need to just have anything to do with the image everything is plumb and top exactly like this thanks for watching i believe we'll learn something and the x i decided to make it that way so that it can what do what the job i want it to do so i can make my shadow to be obvious a bit too so increase this and make it uh, obvious very good and thanks for watching once again don't forget your dimension to set it to ultra and the format should be png thank once again god bless you mm.